After using Riverside to record my podcasts, I was thoroughly impressed. It seemed to have everything, everything except for an editor. So let me show you what I've been using to edit my Riverside podcast. So I've been really liking the live aspect of Riverside FM and how you, it's whole recording setup. So I've been doing all my recordings with him here, but again, doesn't have really an editor. So what I've been doing is let me go back and I can uh, view all my recordings. I'm gonna take this recording, I'm gonna take this wave file and I'm gonna bring it over to another pr program I've been using. So the program I use is called Type Studio. You're gonna go in, Type Studio into Google. It's your first result. And click that, you're gonna sign up for a free account. I've already signed up, so it's gonna bring me straight to the dashboard. This dashboard is where you can upload and house all of your different projects. So for this instance, we're gonna start a new project so I can upload that audio file into it. So here we're gonna grab that file. We're gonna grab it and you're gonna drag it and drop it in and let it upload into the program. Once it's done uploading here in the editing program itself, I can see all of the dialogue I say throughout the podcast on the left-hand side. Type Studio itself transcribes your dialogue so that you can edit via that dialogue. You can edit through the dialogue. So for instance, if I am to just as an, as an example, I'm gonna put it back to how it was, but if I want to delete this section, um, boom and see how there's a, a little part where you can actually undo it and go back. But listen to this. Let me throw on my cans. Nature podcast. Do we analyze that? So as you can see, it cuts out the audio within the podcast by making the edit to the words and the dialogue on the left. So for podcast editing, that's probably very easy for many of you. And it's very easy for myself to go through and read it, read along with it, find the sentences that we say uh, throughout the podcast and be able to edit that way. And it even gives us the option to undo certain things by clicking this undo button, as well as get rid of pauses and whatnot. So these uh, dots indicate pauses. So if I want to get rid of some pauses beforehand, click that shift, click hit the delete button or this cut button, or I can even hit the backspace button on my keyboard. I'm gonna click this button and it goes away and then it just... Hello everybody and welcome to the... Starts right from there. So what I'll do is I'll go back through and I'll listen through the entire podcast and make the edits that I need. And most importantly, make the precise edits that I need. And I can really scroll through and find those parts a lot easier than if it was just a waveform and I have to guess what time I said a certain thing. So this whole process makes all podcast editing a lot easier. And it's really cool to be able to see all the dialogue on the left and just like edit it like a Word document. So once I go through the whole thing, listen through, pull out any of the sentences I don't want or any longer pauses that are a little awkward or unnecessary, uh, I like to take it to another level. But you might not like to take it to another level. So if you'd like to just export your your podcast from here and that's that's all you need you just wanted to edit it down a little bit and then export the audio uh, i'm gonna put a timestamp on this video right now so you can skip to that time where we'll just go over exporting at that point but at this point um if you're still sticking around and you want to know any of the little extra stuff i'll show you all the little extra things such as like adding logos titles and subtitles to the thing, uh, to the podcast, just so that I can post it to many different social media platforms other than just audio-based ones. So first type gives you this nice little background that uh, I don't know. I kind of like the colors of it, so maybe I'll maybe I'll um, I'll utilize the colors and I'll just put a logo on over top of it. So to do that, I'm gonna go to the first one because I want the whole thing to have my uh, my logo on it. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna click the last one with Shift click and then I'm going to click add image. For sake of using Type Studio and showing you that you can use Type Studio to do that, I'm actually gonna use the Type Studio logo. I think this is the one I'm gonna use. Drag that boy in there and it'll upload into the project. All nice and big, but I'm gonna make it a little smaller, put it center, um, it even snaps to the center, which is really cool. And then what I like to do is I'll do the exact same thing. I'll click the first one, go all the way to the end, shift, click, and then I'm gonna add text. And it brings up a text box where I'm gonna say, using type studio to edit my Riverside FM podcast. Now that looks kind of dumb. So <laughs> type studio gives us the option to change the, a bunch of fonts that we have to choose from. I like this one, it makes it look a little more professional. I don't know, I just like the, I like blogs font anyways. So I'm gonna get rid of the background as well. And I'm gonna make this color a little more blue and make it, or I can just make it the same color as that. There we go. 
make it a little bit bigger. Cool, now keep in mind, this is going to be exported as a video. So this is what is gonna show up on the screen when you go to uh, you know, wherever you post it. This is what is gonna, the visual that's gonna be shown with it. So to make it a little more dynamic and a little more fun, we're gonna add subtitles as well. So uh, people can read along with it um, automatically without needing to like use YouTube's uh, subtitle t feature or any other subtitle feature. I don't even think you can do that on most social medias at this point. Or it has to be just like a toggled on and off thing. But if you want subtitles there the whole entire time, uh, all you gotta do is click subtitles, static, and hit play. Hello everybody and welcome to... And there they are. Cool, I'm gonna make them a little bit bigger. Also change the font of those to Epla to match the... Top. And then for the sake of just making sure that the subtitles are fully correct, Type Studio is a program that transcribes the dialogue of your podcast or even your video if you upload a video into it. Usually it's very good at the transcription, um, but human error of mumbling or speaking too fast or just whatever may cause the program to have trouble understanding what you say. There are points in the transcription that they may not line up 100% with what you say. With that being said, you can go in and actually edit any word or add anything to any of these, even any of the the, the dots, the the silence points. So by either double clicking on something or using the enter key, so I just hit enter, uh, you can enter in and out of different words and you can edit them. And uh, so, hey everybody, thank you for tuning into in to the podcast of your dreams. And it shows up in the subtitles themselves. You can go through, you'll read through, listen through, and I usually do it as I'm doing the edit. I'll listen through and uh, just whenever the transcription is a little off, I'll enter in, make the change, hit enter, hit space, and keep going throughout the rest of the podcast. Now that we have everything set and ready to go for the export, whether you are the person that jumped to this timestamp or you're the person that stuck along with me the whole time as I explained all the little things and the intricacies that I do while editing my podcast. Without waiting anymore, let's export this bad boy. So um, for the two people that will be watching this, the person that is doing the audio export, you're gonna do export audio. Um, and if you're doing the extra little um, pieces of the title, the logo, and the subtitle, you're gonna click export video. So I'm gonna click export video, um, but if you wanna do the audio, you can, that's by all means, there's your audio export. So once done exporting, you will be brought to the Type Studio sharing page on which you can just download your audio or video file by clicking this download button right here and it'll download right onto your computer. There's also a number of different type of sharing or downloading and exporting features. You can export the text if you need SRT files from this stuff, as well as just copying the entire podcast into uh, onto your clipboard so you can just copy paste it so boom and I can just paste that with the whole podcast transcript if I'd like you can also share this page or even embed this page into your website blog or notion page notion uh, board as well by making this page public going to copy link copying this link here to just copy paste it and people will brought back to this page or you can copy the snippet and then use that to embed it into your website or blog. Cool, that's it. I hope this helped you out a little bit, find a cool podcast editor. If it did end up helping you out, make sure to follow us on all our social medias and hit that subscribe button. Type Studio has been implementing a lot of different features and we're very excited about them so we wouldn't want you to miss out on them. So either way, thanks again for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace.